In this lesson, we're going to compare the word off to two other words we find in phrasal verbs. Those words are on and, interestingly, away. Now, let's go. Number one, come off. Look at those beautiful walls. The ancient Romans really knew how to make art. It's so impressive, but it's really hard to see the art. That's because the paint probably came off centuries ago. Well, we're still lucky that we have what we have after so much time. The paint came off centuries ago. To become removed. The paint started to come off the wall after the heavy rain. The handle came off the door when I pulled it. Off in this verb means no contact. The paint or art was on the wall before, but now it's off. It came off the wall. Number two, cut off. What happened? I lost you. I'm not sure. It's probably the storm. I hope that doesn't happen again. This is an important phone call. I agree. I hope we don't get cut off again. I got cut off because of the storm. To lose connection, to disconnect. The village was cut off by the snowstorm for three days. He was cut off in traffic, causing a near accident. We often say get cut off, get meaning become. You can also say, be cut off, like our examples. You become cut off. You become disconnected. There's a loss of contact with the other person or something else. Remember, off means no contact. Number three, call off. What are you doing here? You should be hiking. We had to cancel the trip. It's a shame. Why? What happened? We called it off because of the weather. There's a high chance of rain during the trip. We had to call off the hike because of the weather. To cancel a planned event. The concert was called off at the last minute. They called off the meeting because the CEO was sick. The opposite of off is on, and I always imagine that there's an appointment or an event on our calendar. Then it becomes canceled. It's called off because it's not on the calendar anymore. Number four, fall off. Be careful with that table. It's not very stable. I can see it's a little wobbly. Just put your foot on it and it won't move so much. Okay, sure. I don't want my coffee to fall off. I hope my cup doesn't fall off the table. To fall from a surface or position. He wasn't careful and his glasses fell off his face. The picture fell off the wall during the earthquake. 
The words on and off are very common when talking about surfaces or platforms. When something is on a surface, it's stable. When it falls off, it loses contact. Number five, take off. What's going on? The pilot just told us to fasten our seatbelts. I didn't hear it. I was in the bathroom. Sit down, quick. The plane is going to take off soon. The plane is going to take off soon. To leave the ground. After the new marketing campaign, our sales really took off. The idea took off faster than we anticipated. If the plane is on the ground, there's contact. If it takes off, it goes into the sky. We can see the line of what the verb take off looks like in our image. A plane can follow this line when it leaves the ground or sales from a company can do the same. Take off can be used in a lot of situations. Number six, sell off. What's going on in the garage? We're trying to make some space in the house. What are you planning to do with all that stuff? We're going to keep some of it and sell off what we don't need. We're going to sell off what we don't need. To sell things. Typically, to get rid of or eliminate things. The company decided to sell off its underperforming assets. He had to sell off his collection to pay for the repairs. The word off here is very interesting because now we start to see similarities with the word away. Away means far or out of our vision. And that's what we want when we sell things. We want to eliminate them from our lives so they're far from us. Number seven, drive off. Someone just robbed the bank. I know. I saw it happen. Wow, what did you see? Some guys came out of the bank with some bags, got in their car, and drove off. They got in the car and drove off. To leave quickly by vehicle. As soon as he saw the police, he drove off. She drove off without saying goodbye. Here we can think of the word off as a distance that's growing. There's no more contact between the event and the car. In the same way, we can also say run off or fly off or other verbs. Remember, this is also similar to away. You can also say the car drove away. Number eight, better off. I really don't like working in a school. Why not go independent? Start a YouTube channel. I like that idea. I could reach more students and teach more effectively. Do it. You'd be better off. I'd be better off 
teaching on YouTube. To be in a better position. He's better off without that stressful job. You're better off studying at a college closer to home. This is not a verb. This is an adjective to describe something, but I wanted to include it here because it's a common word combination that we use with off. Why? Off means no contact, away from something, distance. So if we're better off without something, we separate ourselves from that thing. We don't want to be with that thing anymore because we would be in a better position without it. We would be better off without it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you can understand the word off a little better now. Don't forget to watch my other videos about words like up, down, away, on, and others. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.